9 plus 3 is an 18. <laughs> That's how you start in one place. Plus three is eighteen. No, it isn't. Nine plus three is. Sunny, take this series. Um, five. Yep. It's five. Nine plus three isn't five. It's twelve. What is? No, let me do it. What is two plus two, Carsten? I want to show you guys my super math skills. Since there's more in there, and it's twelve. You can't, it's supposed to be not a three digital number. So you add that 12 to the four, so you got five. 52. Boom! Is that right, Nan? I don't know what he said. Why aren't you letting your sister help you like she was? Because I want her to do it again. I just wanted to show the camera and math skills. Okay, come help me. Please. So does that have a three in the ones? No. What's 71 plus 9? 71 plus 9? 1 plus 9. That's 10. But you'd be adding one more 1 to here, so that would make it 8. E. You still could have done it. Yeah, both ways work, doesn't it? 8. You're a good teacher, Nan. <laughs> what? Oh. Thank you. Never mind, this is not working out for me today. <laughs> I think all this um, this pollen stuff on my windows is not giving me a clean surface to attach to, so scratch that idea for today. Okay, here we are at Books A Million. We're gonna run in, see if we can find what we're looking for. Are you guys ready? Yep. What are you doing? Leave cars sit in here. He's gonna attract the whole star to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm a hoe. Okay, let's go, you guys. Wait. Well, we just got out of books in my end. We got a few, I got a few um, geography books for the kids. So they can work on geography skills. I also got a handwriting book for Sunny. Um, and then, I got these. We were looking for a book about Rosa Parks because we're going to go to a Rosa Parks museum today since we're in Montgomery. But they didn't have one about her. But Tegan likes these these Who Was books. So we found one about Martin Luther King and the Underground Railroad. So that will be good. Some good additional information. And then Karsten uses his own money to buy a Minecraft book. Something about Redstone. Guide to Redstone. Yeah, I'm clueless, but he's pretty dang excited about it. Can I have it? Oh, sure. If you play Minecraft, you would understand. I guess I don't, do I? You should wish you would. It's hard to see, but they have sort of a timeline of civil, major civil rights events all around. This is... 10th of January, 1966. Yeah, they're getting hard to see. They're wearing out, but... Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. Where should we go now? My shoes are getting away. All right, all right. <laughs> Thousands of 
11,000 national guardsmen and 20,000 20, US troops are called in. Meredith is finally able to register for the rest of the year in the comfort come back to class by soldier. Can you imagine going through that much trouble just to go to go to college? That's just because your skin is a different color? He shows all of my favorite Look at Finny, look, this is important for where we are in Montgomery. Earl of Parks is arrested for refusing to get her seat on the bus to a white man. Activist, Earl of Parks. Activist? Activist, was that? Um, she was active in the civil rights movement. Activist Rosa Parks arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. Sparks one, Sparks one of the most important events in the civil rights movement. A boycott. Boycott, yeah, good job. Boycott is the city's buses. She becomes an international symbol of the struggle to recall equal racial equality. Racial equality and following her death in 2005, the first woman to lie in honor to the Capitol London. At the Capitol Rotunda in Washington. Yeah. Your name to, do you know what adding your name to the wall means? Yeah. What does it mean? Add your name to that wall. No, what does it mean? Read this. If you're prepared to work for these ideals and to stand against hate and intolerance, add your name to the wall. Those who place their names on the wall make a commitment to work in their daily lives for justice, equality, and human rights, the ideals for which the civil rights martyrs died. The wall of tolerance records the names of people who have pledged to take a stand against hate, injustice, and intolerance. You don't want to add your name to the wall? What else do I have to do? You just have to... Are you prepared to work for these ideals? Do you want to stand against hate, hate, injustice, and intolerance? No, I just want to add my name. Well, but adding your name to the wall signifies all these things. It will make me do it? No, it's just saying that you believe in these things. And you want to stand against intolerance. Yeah, I do. Oh, good job, Curse. Oh, there's mine. Oh, there's Tegan. Do you guys want to talk about that civil civil rights monument and museum? How how did it make you feel? I don't know. I I didn't like the movie. How come? That was harsh. It was kind of sad, wasn't it? Yeah, I almost cried. I almost cried too. But that's the reality of, of America's history, you know? That's terrible. I agree that it was terrible, but... I think the... The fight that was fought and the... The rights that were eventually gained are... Were worth it, don't you think? It's sad that it had to be done that way, but... And for those people to be memorialized in a beautiful way like that is pretty cool, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Well, I deserve it anyways. Yeah. What do you think, Sunny? I don't know. I think it was sad. But they left, they, they let you out of there feeling pretty good after mm -hmm. putting our name on the wall and taking that pledge of tolerance. That felt pretty good, didn't it? you guys have anything else to say about that? Mm -mm. No. You don't have any other feelings? No, it just made me feel sad. Do you have any questions? Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to jump from here down to those bricks. Do you think I'll make it, ma'am? Sure. Do you think I'll make it, Dad? Of course. Nice. <laughs> Good job. That was crazy. <laughs>
where do you want to sit? Let's sit back here. The Confederate States. It took Union victory to free all of the slaves. After the Union won the Civil War, federal laws and constitutional amendments were enacted that seemed to give us freedom and opportunity. We could get paid for our work, we could go to school, we could vote, we could even get elected to Congress. But in the South, the same old forces were trying to keep us back, keep us down, keep us separate through intimidation, violence, and terror. But listen to this. Those things shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States. That was part of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. We have rights, and we are willing to fight for them in the court. Mr. Lee, take us to New Orleans, New York to the year 1892. Well, we just finished up at the Rose Parks Museum. We decided it has two, two separate um, wings, and they you have to pay for each one separately or together. And we decided to just do um, the children's the children's side. The other side is more of a, a traditional museum um, sort of layout with artifacts and pictures and and um, articles stuff. and stuff which we'd already kind of already seen at the at the Civil Rights Memorial. So they have the whole children's wing which they have set up like uh, like the Rosa Parks bus and it's kind of um, supposed to be a time machine where a robot drives you and it takes you um, back in time through different civil rights um, kind of the major moments in the civil rights movement which I thought was pretty cool. I mean the bus moved and there was lights and sounds and is kind of kind of an audio visual sort of experience which I thought would have been better for the kids so we decided to skip the, the traditional side of the museum and do that and I thought it was really cool what did you guys think? I thought that was cool. Carson thought it was weird it was weird he said it himself well it was better than than you guys try, having to go through a whole nother museum though right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. do you think you learned better better that way seeing it seeing that sort of experience in um, a traditional museum setting? Yeah, I think it's a more fun. A, a more fun? Yeah, I agree. So what did you guys think of our Civil Rights Learning Day? I liked it. Me too. What did you guys like about it? I don't know. Do you even know what I'm saying right now? Do you guys have any um, thoughts about the stuff we saw today that you want to share with your mom that she didn't get to see? No. You don't have any any thoughts or feelings that you had that you want to convey to her? No. What about you, Nan? Sad. What, baby? It was sad, but what did what did you learn from it? anything that you learned from it other than that it there was a sad sad point in our history <laughs> um, to treat people fairly. did you tell your mom about the pledge that you guys took no how come did you tell your mom about the pledge you took Sunny do you even remember about the pledge you took? Yes. What was it about? I don't know. Just 
give them a little bit. Bye, right before we tell them to go to bed, they'll open all of them. <laughs> tell me all about what they did at school today. And it takes them a while. You're too shy? Oh, this is what they did in school too. They gotta wait till, yeah. till they need to go to bed? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll talk to you guys right before bed and you can tell mommy all about it then, okay? Well guys, thanks for joining us today as we learned a little bit about the uh, civil rights movement and some of the events that took place here in Montgomery. Sorry, I've got hooping and hollering in the background. Um, quiet, back there. Um, quiet. Um, if you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not, I really appreciate it if you uh, subscribe and click that little bell so you don't miss out on any of our daily videos. Yeah, share it with your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Share it. <laughs> share it with your grandma. Share it with your grandma. I've got the wow bunch back there. <laughs> Quiet. So share it with your grandma and thanks for stopping by. Take a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.